very good morning to all of you welcome to this session so today we are going to study lecture number 6 of module 2 and the topic is relationship types view 1 so in the previous session in the previous classes we try to understand fulfillment in human human relationships and we study justice and before justice we studied about established values and expressed values and we have understood that feelings are at the core of the relationship so in this process we noticed that there is a prominence of feelings in the relationships these feelings are recognized as nine established values and nine expressed values that we studied in detail in the last two three lectures so those though these feelings are equally ex acceptable from all human being in the society in complementarity but while living in different places some of feeling some of the feelings play very important role some of the feelings comes in the priority while interacting to different people so in this class we are trying to understand which of these feelings are prominent in different kind of relationships so let's start the lecture and see what kind of feelings are prominent so we can see different type of relationships around us so when we live in relationship with our elders like father mother paternal grandparents maternal grandparents uncle aunt teachers guides etc we find them more knowledgeable more understanding than us and more responsible than us in this sense of relationship we gets lot of cooperation with them in our life so we get lot of cooperation from father mother grandfather grandparents from our childhood so we will see or we can explore that values like reverence glory gratitude in these relationships are very important play an important role similarly we can see another kind of relationship with those who are around us and having same age group like brother sister friends husband wife coworkers so if we explore this relationship so feeling of trust feeling of respect feeling of affections play a very prominent role while interacting similarly we can see relationship with those who are younger than us like son daughter siblings children grandchildren students etc so overall comprehensively we can categorize these relationship into this three category in category 1 we will talk about those relations those relatives who are elder than us in second category we will talk about feelings in those relations who are around the same age and in the third category we are going to talk about those relations those relatives who are younger than us so with this three kind of relationship we are going to talk about various feelings what would be the prominent feeling when we interact with our elder what will be the prominent feeling when we interact with the younger one what would be the prominent feeling when we interact with the same age people so all this we are going to describe in this lecture so let's see so first uh, i will talk about relatives those who are elder to us okay so like father mother paternal grandparents maternal grandparents uncle aunt teachers etc they guide us they guide us they help us they fulfill their responsibility while living with us 
सो रिलेशनशिप्स रिलेशंस लाइक पेरेंट्स ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स अंकल आंट फ्रॉम बोथ पैटर्नल एंड मैटर्नल साइड्स कम एज ए पेरेंट्स एंड चिल्ड्रन रिलेशनशिप्स एज एल्डर्स दे टेक इट एज ए रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फॉर नर्चरिंग एंड प्रोटेक्टिंग द बॉडी ऑफ द चिल्ड्रेन अलॉन्ग विद डेवलपिंग द राइट फीलिंग एंड राइट थाट्स दे टेक केयर ऑफ अबाउट द ऑफ बॉडी एंड सेल्फ टू सो इट कैन बी नोटिस्ड दैट नर्चरिंग प्रोटेक्शन अलॉन्ग विद डेवलपिंग द राइट अंडरस्टैंडिंग इन द चिल्ड्रेन कैन बी डन एफिशियंटली बेस्ड ऑन द फीलिंग ऑफ केयर एंड गाइडेंस सो दे हेल्प एस दे टेक केयर आर एस दे टेक केयर आर बॉडी सो वॉट इज द प्रोमिनेंट फीलिंग इन दिस रिलेशनशिप दे डू विद द फीलिंग ऑफ केयर एंड गाइडेंस ओनली सो विद द फीलिंग ऑफ केयर इस्टेब्लिश्ड विद इन द नर्चरिंग प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ द चिल्ड्रेन गोज वेल वेर एज डेवलपिंग द राइट अंडरस्टैंडिंग इन द चिल्ड्रेन बिकम्स पॉसिबल विद द फीलिंग ऑफ गाइडेंस सो इफ वी सी प्रोमिनेंट फीलिंग इन this kind of relationship so what would be the prominent feeling is care and guidance children have the feeling of gratitude towards their parents when they see when they observe that their elders are fulfilling their responsibility so children may feel the feeling of gratitude so feeling of gratitude means recognizing the cooperation availed from elders and the emergence of same feeling based on their natural acceptance so children always has a relationship with their elders with the feeling of gratitude so the more they observe the elders working for their excellence the more they have the feeling of glory towards them so they feel proud of them and aspire for achieving excellence under their guidance so based on this the feeling of reverence emerge thus the feeling of gratitude glory and reverence commonly exist in relationship of son and daughter with their parents and parents like elders so with the feeling of reverence glory gratitude are prominent in this relationship so from the child side feeling of reverence glory gratitude are prominent from elder side feeling of care and guidance are prominent okay so living with these value children carry on the duties expected by their parents and under the guidance of this feeling care and guidance elders fulfill their responsibility towards children let's move to another relationship with those who are around the same age as us so if we are talking about the relatives which are around us at the same age we can see that brother sister friends husband wife co-workers all will come under this category so in this relationship the prominent feeling will be trust respect and affection similarly if we talk about relationship with those who are younger than us so if they are uh, younger than us then feeling of care and guidance will be prominent in this relationship it is to be noted that prerequisite for care and guidance affection and the feeling of trust respect are at the base of this affection so while fulfilling these uh, values the feeling of trust respect affection are the common feelings so with this background we can say that there are three types of relationships in the three types of relationship with those older than us those similar age and those who are younger than us the feeling of trust respect and affection remain at the base so the in this kind of relationship where people have more understanding than us reverence glory gratitude are prominent these three values are visible in the relationship in which we are receiving any assistance so there are many uh, members in our family elder brother grandparents parents so we can see these feelings are easily visible in any family so feeling of reverence glory and gratitude relationships in which we are providing help care and guidance are the core feelings 
तो वेयर वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग हेल्प हेल्प टू एनी वन सो केयर एंड गाइडेंस विल बी एट द कोर सो एंड इन ऑल रिलेशनशिप द नीड फॉर ट्रस्ट रिस्पेक्ट एंड अफेक्शन इज ऑलवेज देयर इट इज टू नोट दैट वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एनी फीलिंग एनी रिलेशनशिप ट्रस्ट रिस्पेक्ट एंड अफेक्शन वुड बी एट द कोर सो एट द मिनिमम द नीड फॉर द फीलिंग फॉर ट्रस्ट इज देयर इन ऑल रिलेशनशिप्स either acquaintances or stranger with every human being this will be at the core with this we can categorize seven types of human human relationships parent child teacher pupil husband wife siblings like brother sister brother brother sister sister friend friend guide colleague societal relationships means relationships in undivided society and universal order so we can categorize all types of relationships into seven category so we will study it one by one and we will see which feeling are more prominent in these categories so let's talk about relationship between parent and child so i told you in the starting of this session as a parents the primary feeling would be to ensure right understanding in the self means guidance to ensure nurturing and protection of the body it means care so those people who are elder than us they fulfill these two responsibility for their younger one so they try to ensure nurturing and protection of the body of the younger ones they also try to ensure right understanding right feeling right thought at the level of self or mind so if we see this relationship they are able to fulfill responsibility for nurturing and protection of the body and they are also able to fulfill responsibility for right understanding it means feeling of care and feeling of guidance is prominent in this relationship so on the basis of receiving care and guidance from parents the children develop feeling of gratitude so once the elder fulfill these feelings care and guidance for their younger one so the younger one when receive this feeling care and guidance they feel gratitude for their elders so for example like your mother cook food for you and when you see that she is fulfilling the feeling of care with with the feeling of care she is cooking food for me and i am able to see that the intention behind is is to make my body nurture is to protect my body then i feel gratitude for her i feel gratitude for her so once i feel gratitude for her i express it so feeling of gratitude from the child will be prominent feeling of care and guidance from the elder one will be prominent so gradually as the child is able to see excellence in the parents to whatever extent it develops the feeling of glory and reverence so you can see in this relationship care guidance glory reverence gratitude are prominent so if the child is able to see child is able to recognize these feelings feeling of gratitude feeling of glory feeling of reverence and the elder one are able to recognize these feeling feeling of care the feeling of guidance then a family lives happily if the child is ignoring these feelings not able to recognize feeling of gratitude then it makes him as well as others unhappy so feelings play very important role in all kind of relationships and as i told you earlier that feeling of trust feeling of respect feeling of affection is common in all type of relationships okay so now you can pause this screen for 2 minutes and ask yourself whether do you have feeling of gratitude for your elders can you see feeling of care and guidance in your parents in your elder one 
do you feel do you have feeling of glory do you have feeling of reverence for your elder one so you can make a list of feelings observe interaction observe others what they are doing in family and try to recognize what is what feeling is the motivation behind their actions and you will be able to see the feeling of glory feeling feeling of reverence feeling of gratitude you will also be able to see feeling of care feeling of guidance and once you recognize these feelings then relationships will be happy relation this this kind of relationship where i am able to recognize the feeling would ensure my happiness would ensure happiness of the family so you can do this exercise for yourself let's move to another uh, relationship teacher student relationship in this relationship the goal of the teacher is to develop the right understanding in the student so what would be primary role of the teacher so primary role of the teacher is to facilitate the understanding of the student so to fulfill this role the feeling of guidance is essential if i want to ensure right understanding in the student it can only happen with the feeling of guidance so with the feeling of guidance one can make effort for his or her student to ensure right understanding in themselves so with this feeling feeling of guidance the teacher can fulfill his or her role effectively the teacher can consistently make an effort to develop the right understanding to the next generation the student has a feeling of gratitude so once a student receive the guidance from the teacher it can happen only with the feeling of gratitude so the student also has a feeling of glory and reverence for the excellence for the teacher so once the student see that teacher is making a lot of effort for their understanding for their excellence then he can feel glory reverence for the teacher it means in teacher student relationship what would be the prominent feeling prominent feeling would be guidance then from student side glory and reverence of course gratitude if this kind this feelings exist in teacher student relationship then teaching process becomes very easy then there would be no complaint in teacher student relationship okay if you ignore these feelings then teaching process is not successful teaching process teacher student relationship can only be possible with the feeling of glory with the feeling of reverence in a student and with the feeling of guidance in the teacher so you can again take pause for 2 minutes and ask yourself do you have these feelings for your teacher glory and reverence if you have these feelings then you will see with the feeling of gratitude that teacher is making lot of effort for you he is preparing notes it's he is uh, gi giving you materials so that you could ensure good marks all kind of effort teachers are making for you and ask yourself do you have these feelings for the teacher okay let's talk about next feeling that is among siblings siblings means brothers brother sister sisters all will come in sibling relationship so this is a relationship between people of similar age that is the same generation so in this relationship we are primarily making an effort for mutual development i am making effort for my friends i am making effort for my brother i am making effort for my sisters we are working together with the intention for mutual development while doing so we work together help each other for this relationship there is a need for feeling of trust respect and affection so this mutual development can happen with the feeling of trust respect and affection the feeling of respect is necessary as we have many things to do together 
that's why right evaluation is essential because we are going to work together we are going to pursue common goals in the family in the class and this right evaluation this assurance about intention is must so we live with the responsibility to focus on mutual development so what would happen if i have more understanding i am committed to helping if the other member has more understanding i am willing to take help with this this relationship can be fulfilled so mutual development is the focus in this relationship so what does it mean it means we will we live with responsibility if i have more understanding i am committed and able to help if the other has more understanding i am willing and able to take help so the feeling of trust respect and affection is essential is prominent in this relationship again you can take pause for 2 minutes and evaluate yourself whether you are ensuring these feelings with your brother sister friends okay let's move to another feeling another relationship between friends in this relationship we live like siblings and make efforts for mutual development the only difference between uh, only difference is that siblings belong to the same family while friends belong to different families but we treat them as a sibling family may be different so the peak of the relationship between friends is being able to live like sibling this is the next level of relationship uh, of friendship that we are living like a sibling families may be different but we are living like a sibling so the zenith of achievement in the relationship between friend is being able to live like a sibling so what would be the indicator the indicator of friend friend relationship is that we feel the problem of the friend as our problem and make effort to solve them just as we would do for our problems so i feel my friend i feel problems of my friend as i do in sibling relationships this is the zenith of the achievement in this friend friend relationship so again you can evaluate yourself take pause for 2 minutes and ask yourself do you have this kind of friendship do you ensure these relation uh, these feelings in relationship feeling of trust respect affection do you consider your friend as a sibling so all this you can evaluate for yourself let's move towards next feeling husband wife relationship in this relationship we have the responsibility to make an effort for mutual development and participate meaningfully in societal order so in husband relationship we are making effort for mutual development so the husband is making effort for the development of the self of wife the wife is making effort for the development of the self of husband so mutual development as is in the focus to participate meaningfully in the societal order this is another participation so as a family we are thinking of participation in societal order if both have right understanding before marriage then the main role of the husband and wife is participation in the societal order the husband and wife can make effort for a definite family goal jointly so that's the in this context the feeling of respect is primary clarity of family goal and making effort for it jointly is possible with the expressed value of transparency with the husband and wife it means there is a transparency between husband and wife both are evaluating rightly each other the third responsibility is production of the body for the next generation so as 
a complementarity of the body of male and female now this is my third responsibility this is our third responsibility production of the body for next generation if required then nurturing and protection along with ensuring right understanding in the next generation so in this relationship also there are feeling like trust respect affection guidance are required so we have enough scope to live in harmony at all levels through the relationships of husband and wife so again you can take pause and ask yourself do you have these responsibility in the focus when you are going to make your own family are you ready to fulfill these feelings in relationship so you can ask yourself you can investigate in yourself so with this let's move towards another feeling that is guide colleague relationship so the feeling of trust respect and affection in the guide is necessary essential in this relationship for his or her colleague also for the colleague having the feeling of glory and reverence for the guide is essential so feeling of trust respect affection feeling of guidance feeling of reference uh, reverence and glory is essential in this relationship the guide has the sole responsibility to plan for a program and chalk out the steps to execute it and the colleague recognizes his responsibility for a part of the program and helps to fulfill it so the colleague recognizes responsibility and fulfill it there are various roles to be fulfilled which the colleague recognizes and fulfill with commitment so with the feeling of trust respect affection with the feeling of reverence and glory this relationship can be fulfilled so let's move towards the last relationship so next relationship is societal relationship relationship in undivided society and universal human order this relationship can be seen between the service provider and the service recipient some people ensure policies in the system for the smooth functioning of the organization because they want to run their organization in harmony that's why they make a system they make a policy and rest of the people must abide by those rules as service provider it is of utmost desirable to shoulder up that responsibility sincerely and while continuing this responsibility treat every member of the organization with justice and equality so justice refer to seeing everyone the same at the level of purpose program and potential so for the service provider it is required that he or she is able to see everyone same at the level of purpose program and potential so the main role of service provider is to live just and to be organized with the help of others to live in organized ways by facilitating a conducive environment to live in relationship and harmony so for this it is essential to have the clarity of coexistential order living according to the societal laws and providing such an environment to all and providing the same environment to all and inspiring others to live accordingly so who so ever ever is engaged in the participation of any system whether it is a dimension of health education sanskar production and exchange justice preservation any dimension at all places the service provider has the main role to be in harmony within and provide the others conducive environment so that they may participate in each dimension harmoniously so to have understanding is at the root of all these so it is necessary for the service recipient also to live according to the norms 
established by the service provider so he is always inspired to live harmoniously to make a favorable favorable environment in the society so the feeling of affection plays an important role between the service provider and the service recipient so with the feeling of affection there will be guidance there will be care and with these feelings a service provider can make a conducive environment for others to live in a harmonious manner and in the feeling of in the absence of these feeling there is a possibility of exploitation and you can see around you the present state of the society exploitation manipulation is because of the absence of these feelings feeling of affection so the feeling of affection is must for service provider feeling of knowledge right understanding is must in the service provider so with this feeling societal relationships can be fulfilled and we can participate in undivided society and universal human order so that's all from my side friends we have studied seven kinds of relationships where we have seen the prominent feeling we have brought out the prominent feeling while interacting with various people people who are elder than us people who are younger than us people who are having same age group now you can evaluate yourself at what level you are and are you able to recognize the prominent feeling in the relationships if you recognize these feelings then you can live a relationship in a mutually fulfilling manner so that's all from my side for this lecture let's meet in the next lecture have a good day thank you very much